Alicia K wrote us in and she asked, how do I say no? How do I say no? Where do I go when I'm feeling low? My name is Lauren Rantala. And I am Rachel Evans. And this is 20 Nothing. Ask, Ask us, us, we're, we're drunk. drunk. I don't know how to say no. I say no like this. Sure. I've said no to a couple, a couple times, but only when it's unreasonable. Like people have tried to break up with me and I'm like, no. How do you still be a kind human and still hold your ground and know your needs and don't put your needs behind other people's needs just because you're afraid of being impolite? I don't think you should be afraid of offending people, but I also think it's a new thing for us. And I think that we could learn from people who know more than we do. Sounds like Lauren has somebody in mind for this. I do have someone in mind and she's someone who has the best podcast and the first podcast that I ever listened to. Erin McGathy, please come on. Erin McGathy. Erin McGathy, oh my gosh. Hi. How do you say no? Uh, well, I think it's important to remember that saying yes is not always really saying yes, because if you say yes to everything, you end up having to cancel. Mm -hmm. The key is prioritizing. So how do you prioritize? Like, what's most important? You know, I was able to be magically transported here because I said no to other things that I didn't want to do as much. And I think the key is to be honest and say, you know what, I would love to, but I can't because my life is just a little too full right now. Preach. Et cetera. Preach. Moving Boys. on. Boys. The cruel truth is that the more you say no to guys, the more opportunities to say yes arise. Rhymes and also weird. It's like RuPaul says, If you can't love yourself, how the hell are you going to love anybody else? Can I get an amen? When you prioritize your time and say no to things you realize you don't actually want to do, then you can shape your life and say yes to the things that challenge you and are exciting and are more in line with who you want to be. Fine, I'll say no to people. No, like, no, that's not really, I guess that's not really for me. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. No. I'm so scared. If your friends hate you for saying no, they're not your friends. Mm -hmm. If your boss hates you for saying no, it's not your boss. And you'll know when it's something you should say yes to, because it's something that maybe challenges you a little bit. Feel your vibes. Feel your vibes. Feel your them, vibes. Pick them up. Get your lives, find your light, and find your angles. Thank you so much for coming, Erin. I, I, I feel like you know more things than we know. Please like and subscribe to Snarled. It's down below. Smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and also listen to this feels terrible about Erin McGaffey. And if you want to see past episodes of Ask Us We're Drunk, guess what? Whoa! Whoa, they're everywhere! They're everywhere! Whoa, 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 they're whoa, everywhere! Whoa, 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 whoa. We would like you to say yes, but if you say no... We respect you. We respect it. Okay, what can we do? Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>